I think we can all agree on that um, golf is a very expensive game. So playing golf isn't cheap, we all know that, but then if you're buying a golf club, it can be a great investment because like for me, I've been using the Bridgestone Iron for four years and they still look perfectly fine. But for the golf balls, like, there's another problem. A brand new doesn't probably really cost you this much. Very expensive consider the fact that like, you're going to lose the golf ball or you're going to hit the tree, car path and, and that's the end. Luckily, so Costco came up with another curtain aesthetic chair golf ball. Ball piece model called Performance One. The performance, they get a lot of negative review. Uh, they refund everybody's money, so like, good job. So let's read through um, people's comments on the golf ball. They are shorter than Pobi One Eggs, Pobi One TB5 Eggs. They don't last long, the price is awesome, but overall a disappointing golf ball. Okay, so most of the comment is surrounding the performance issue and their durability. So I tested it on myself and first of all, I'm not a Costco member. I've never been shopping in Costco. So uh, luckily I, I got a friend who got two dozen. And I asked, I asked him for if I can get some samples so I can do the review. He, he gave me a sleeve. I did four for one with the golf ball and uh, for the first day, I didn't even get the dry ball data from GC Card yet. I just want to test it out to see if uh, do I see the actual difference on course. So first, I start with some chipping and uh, stripping and putting, and it, it seems fine. I didn't see any difference at all, and I just yeah, and then I just straight up head to the course and play. For the first drive, I actually have a very decent distance for the first drive of the day. The second shot, I hit a pull shot from 100 yard, land on the green, stop right away. Then I start to wonder, is this ball going to last through the round because people are saying that the cover won't last. So I just keep, kept on playing. First day, the cover was perfectly fine. And for the next day, let's stay tuned for the current signature. This time hit the tree really really hard. We're actually surprised that they last pretty long. Fate. Touch. I just think because of the hype, um, people are just being a bit too harsh on the Costco golf ball. <laughs> They're not that bad. Straight. Only downside to the current end is the, the feel of the golf ball is really harsh. Although it has a thinner cover, but it is hard. It's hard to walk. Here's the stick saw. It's good now. Much thing here. A part of the special. I won't drop this in the water. Oh, check, check, check. Go in. Nope. 13 hole. So, pretty good. You know what, guys? I'm actually more surprised that I'm not losing any golf ball than the durability of the curtain. Man. That's a hard shot. So I started with three curtains in the chair, hopefully, and bring all of them home. Unfortunately, I lost the golf ball on 17th hole. So that's why I have to go to a two more rounds of golf to do the testing. So two full rounds with this golf ball, there's still, there's a lot of scratches, especially near the logo, but not too bad, all the thing holes is still attached. 
So for me, the breathing isn't an issue. Here is a vice pull. I was doing the comparison with the equipment. I did 10 iron shot and 5 drive with the ball and see, it cracked. You guys can see the cover is brand new. Straight out of the box. Vice is way worse. The second day I, I collect some data before heading out to play. For the testing, I didn't use the bridge thing. It's a Homa uh, uh, 2 iron, a true blade, 34 degree of loft, very true loft, just to keep. Yeah, here are the numbers. Um, for the curtain signature, with the 7 iron, um, 6600 spin, which is pretty good. I'm, I'm expecting about 7000 because it's a 34 degree iron. The boy when it spin way more, 7,175. Uh, carry a bit longer too, 152 carry. So for me, pretty much the same distance. I see more difference with the driver than the iron. The boy when it spun 1900. Uh, carrying average carry at 265, topping out at 268. I'll just carry number, not total distance, but you guys get the point. Um, and on the other hand, the curtain end, spinning at 2087. Pretty much the same, but the distance is only carrying 257. Ball speed is much lower too, 154 ball speed for Bowie 1 and 151 for the curtain end. Overall, the curtain end performed a little bit worse. Than Pro V1. Let's just think in a different way. Uh, why are we comparing to the Pro V1 anyway? This golf ball costs you fifteen dollars per dozen. Uh, for the similar price range, I think even the Ludos they cost more than the the, the curtain. For me, like of course, I prefer a lower lower spin with the driver long with this thin, um, more spin with the iron. Like that's for sure. But I cannot afford a brand new. Hold we one each time I play. I think people are only doing the comparison with the premium ball. Yeah, they, they didn't compare with the lower price range ball. Honestly, the curtain perform way better than like the Callaway Super Soft or um, a Switch on Q Star. If I actually play for like money or matches, I would definitely use a better ball. I use like Pobi One TB5, Six on Set Star, something like that. But just for casual one, why do I just spend it so much? The difference is modern. Who you have an excursion a touch longer to the way? One on the fairway, the equipment, and the one on the bobby on the left, on top of the bunker. So both balls are on green, one is on temporary green, and the curtain is on real green. Kinda this. So Take you, 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 take you,